Bernabeu from a city that truly loves its football. Marseille, the city in question, and our action comes to you from the Orange Vélodrome. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's France versus the Netherlands. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. You've seen his set, two good teams, great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. Has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And now they get the ball rolling. Here's the side France will go with. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Antoine Griezmann starts alongside Adria Rabio in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Rabio. Oh, moving it nicely. Still could put it away. Can he play it in? High echelon goalkeeping there. Played in by Griezmann. Now keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Nathan Ake in central defence. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. Well, considering the form book, Stuart, Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here. Well, Derek, is the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Not to be advised, giving the ball away in that position. Rabio, can he put it in? And the challenge, crisp and clean. Promising move this from France. Out. In it goes! Well, the pressure has been mounting, and now they have the lead! Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. The bye. Martin Deron. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Mbappe. Takes the shot. Well, he really wants his brace. Well, he looks so bright today. His movement has been excellent. And an opportunity for France to add to the lead from this corner. Whipped in by Griezmann. Textbook goalkeeping following the corner. Steven Bergwijn, counter-attacking, very much an option. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Good move in the making from France. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. 
Well, very close to half-time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. They've got it now, what can they do? And the attempt just wide. So unfortunate. Radio. Mbappe with it. And threading it forward. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Aurelien Chouameni. Well, nothing comes of it. Steven Bergwijn. Well, there it is. The first half is now in the history books here at the Orange Velodrome. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Breathing a sigh of relief, ball one. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Defenders need to cover. Mbappe, well the supporters think it's on. Dumfries. Well, who wouldn't want to have Kylian Mbappe in their side? Stewart, a key component of his team. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. Depay. Just the challenge that was required. Well, there it is. France just haven't had as much of the ball, but when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. It's really good without the ball, and the all-around performance levels have been high. Can they cover up? And the referee says, corner kick. They are committed to making the substitution here. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, it still could be dangerous. And I think the threat has been averted. Frankie de Jong. It's with Colt Mainers. The five. Now moving the ball impressively here. And then the commentator's curse comes into play. 20 minutes remaining. Showing a lot of guile there. Griezmann. Five. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. But it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Well, it's almost over, but not quite. The fans still with a bit of nail-biting to do, Stuart. Well, they need to hold on here. Not long left now, but you have to say they've defended really well up to this point, and I just can't see them conceding now. This will be a really good win if it stays like this. 
and the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. And he read it well. Radio. Just 10 minutes remaining here. Koro Muani. Standing at 2 0. Gakpo is with Jerome. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Could pull one back here. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Kono Muani. So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. And the final whistle has sounded, a victory here for France. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, you know, I think Kylian Mbappe enjoyed himself. Your verdict on his performance tonight? Yeah, it was a very good performance. He scored one and hit the wood.